Hey everyone, it's the detective back again with another video and something really awesome and crazy happened today. So I had actually was, I was actually filming a video. Um, I was filming the video of the diamond three pack for Armored Alliance and I literally filmed the video and I was going into the kitchen and I hear my dad at the door and he brings in a bunch of packages and literally there was a package from Spin Master sitting right there and I freaked out. It was amazing and I opened it up and we have some more diamonds, which is absolutely crazy. So I think just because of the fact that I believe these are from the newest wave, I don't, I think it's wave three. I have really, unfortunately, I just haven't really been able to keep track of all the waves because they're so crazy. They're all releasing in different areas. I don't know if anyone's found these before. I'm pretty sure at least one person I know of has actually found the Trox on Instagram. I think Vegeta's Prime found the Trox. Might be wrong though, but this is really exciting. A few of the other Baku Masters actually received these as well. And I honestly wasn't so sure if they were going to send one to me because of the whole, you know, the epidemic that's going around and the whole, you know, the situation that we're in, but really got to give it to the people over at Spin Master. I mean, this is extremely generous, extremely kind, but you know, I'm stuck at home. A lot of other people are stuck at home and this really just made my day, you know, opening up that package and seeing these inside. Um, but yeah, we have the diamond single pack. So diamond Trox, which looks absolutely phenomenal. So we have Trox, Simoga, Maxodon, Barbetra, Pegatrix, Auxilator, super excited for him. Uh, what is that? Maxodon in Chaos and Riarazu. Ria I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Riarazu, Riarazu, whatever. Um, but he looks great. Let's take a look at the ultras. Ooh, Aquos, Enoch, Ventus, Cyrus. Um, Auralis Howlcore, Darkest Treacherous, that's from Wave 2, I don't know, I don't know what's going on with that. Pyrus Batrix, super excited for Batrix, Batrix looks fantastic, and a Chaos Dragonoid Ultra, that's awesome. So yeah, there's a little render of him right there, of course, you know, we have the real thing in the package, we don't need to see that. So, I figured that, uh, I would just open these up, I'm gonna just open... Uh, Dragonoid in this video and then I'll do another video for Trox because I do want to do these individually since I do want to spend some time on it. So uh, yeah, I'm going to bust open this Dragonoid and we'll take a look at the Diamond Dragonoid out of the box. So here's everything that we get. Of course, we get the, you know, the how to play guide. We get the Bakugan, the Baku cores, and the cards. But before we actually look at that, there's actually something that I want to highlight and that would be the checklist. I'm just going to pick up my phone here. Um... But, of course, you know, you, you have some of the normal Bakugan that we've been seeing. But then, we start to see the Fusion Force Bakugan. So, I guess Fusion Force is coming faster than we think. But we have a few things. I'm not going to go through all of them. But we have, like, Pegatrix with Goreen. Trox with Nobilius. That looks fantastic. Dragonoid and Auxilitar. We even have the dual faction symbols right there. Some other new Bakugan right there. We have Nilius and Enoch. That's awesome. Pegatrix and Galador. Hydrus and Batrix. Trox and Cyrus. And then the rest of the cores down here are also new ones. So we have like Barbetra, Simoga, Riorazu, Auxilator. Still really want that Auxilator. Dragonoid and Treteris. Trox and Nobilius, the core version. That's great. Um, again, not going to go through all of them, but feel free to pause the video. And I just thought that I would highlight that since that's honestly really cool. So here's the diamond. But before we look at that, let's take a look at the other stuff. So... We do get the Diamond Gate Trainer. Anyway, just generic Bakugan logo. Of course, the Gate Trainers, you know how they work. Let's take a look at the cores. So we got a Flaming Fist and a Shield. And nice, 250 and 3. And wow, these are some really good Baku cores. All right, plus 300. This is, this is the best generic Flaming Fist, in my opinion. And this is the best generic Shield. And by generic, I mean just like... Generic B power or damage boosters. These are the best respective cores that aren't really, you know, faction specific or Baku gear specific. Let's take a look at the card. Dragonoid Ultra. Of course, I already do have this. 900 B power and two damage. And he has a red fist and a shield. And Diamond Dragonoid Ultra. This looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, which set is this from? Oh, there's the set symbol. I don't know. Is that Fusion Force? I feel like that's Fusion Force. I feel like... Armored Elite is different. I'll have to, I'll have to check. Oh, yeah. This is a Fusion Force card. That is the Armored Elite. Oh, yeah. FF. That's Fusion Force. All right. All right. That, just a little bit of confusion there. That art is absolutely fantastic. I really, I don't even care how good this ends up being. I totally want, like, a foil, like, a, a hex version of that. That looks fantastic. I would get that on a playmat. Just look at that art. It's so good. Anyway, um, <laughs> 10 energy to play. 
2,000 B power and 10 damage and the victor effect plus 5 energy. Wow. All right. So that is just crazy. So, wow. So just, I'm trying to just imagine that if you're, I don't know if this would actually work out, but let's say you have like an Evo in your hand. And you play this, it's like turn 10, or you're doing Ventus and Pyrus Energy Ramp or something, or you use, you know, Song of Fire or something like that to give yourself extra energy. You play this, right? You go in for that team attack, and then you use his skill, you win, you you use an Evo from your hand for another Bakugan, and then your team attack just got bonus, and if you're using some other Evo that has an effect that gives B power and a team attack or something like that, that is just crazy, because... You know, when you win, you can just literally take control of the board state with this one card. And that is just fantastic. Wow. I don't, I'm, I'm getting way too excited over this. But this is so cool. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I know that um, when Fang Shaman posted this on the Twitter, everyone was going crazy about it. And that is just so awesome looking. Um, either way, let's take a look at the actual Bakugan. So, yeah, it's got the white back, which is kind of weird. Um, and also the horn is molded out of white plastic. I'll, I'll show that in a second, but really interesting. Not sure why that's there. It almost looks like a Chaos Pyrus Fusion. Uh, either way though, I'm just gonna adjust this. Hopefully I will successfully be able to uh, roll him out. And there we go. He kind of fell flat on his uh, flat on his back. I guess that's a good thing though, cause he can pick up another core, I guess, if you roll him that way. Either way though, that looks, he just looks so cool. Like again, he does have the manual parts, but it's Dragonoid Ultra, and again, this this is my favorite Dragonoid design of all time. Personally, I think that even even though we just did see like you know Dragonoid and Treneris combo and Dragonoid and Auxilator, I still think that this is the best Dragonoid that has been released, in my opinion, of course. But yeah, he looks absolutely beautiful. It's got the little shiny green eyes in there. Uh, really kind of hard to see the golden B power, but it is 900, of course. You know, corresponding with the character card. I'm actually gonna make a quick cut. And I'm actually going to look for my other Pyrus Dragonoids, and we're going to do a quick comparison between the three. Alright, so here we have the Diamond Dragonite Ultra, and I did grab the other two versions. So here is the standard Pyrus one, that is, you know, most mass available, I guess. Um, and, you know, Wave 1, you can get it everywhere. I do recommend at least getting this, because he is a very powerful Bakugan. And then here is the Limited Edition one, and, uh... I mean, it is kind of unfair to compare this to either of these, even the Diamond one, because this is limited edition, you know, the quality is just better. It's definitely my favorite. I do know that a lot of people, or not a lot of people, but a couple people just don't really like the color scheme on this one. I personally love it. I love the fact that it's kind of like a reverse color scheme of this. Um, but, you know, if the limited edition isn't for you, maybe the Diamond will be for you, and I guess if that's not for you, I don't know what will. Uh, but I think that all three of these look pretty great. Um, again, though, it is a little bit unfair to compare this one to either of those. Um, but between both of these, I think they both look fantastic. And in game, though, I'll probably just go with this one just because it is the standard Dragonoid. So, you know, if it would fall off a table or get damaged or something, it won't be as much of a loss as if something would happen to the Diamond one. So what do you guys think of the new Diamond Dragonoid Ultra? I think it looks really great. Again, a huge thanks to Spin Master. Uh, definitely stay tuned for the Diamond Trox. I will be doing that soon. Um, but this is just such a really awesome Bakugan, and I'm gonna be totally honest, don't hate on me for this, but honestly, this card is really stealing the show, because just, this card is so cool, and I absolutely just cannot wait to see what type of decks people come up with, and of course, once I'm finally able to get some Armored Elite cards, and maybe even Fusion Force, depending on how long, um, it takes until, you know, stores start reopening again, um, I'm totally gonna be making a deck using this card, and... I don't know, maybe maybe not going to be running a full playset of this, but that Victor effect, it, it just leads to so many crazy thoughts as to where you can use this and how you can combo it. Uh, the Bakugan itself looks absolutely beautiful. Of course, diamonds always do. I absolutely love the clear effect. And the Baku cores in the set really surprised me because both of these cores are fantastic. Uh, either way, though, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm The Detective, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.